Hi and welcome to another video on Learners Product Tutorials. And in this video, we will see how you can use Learners Live Class and OBS Studio to conduct your live classes even if you have minimal accessories and even if you are not tech savvy at all. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Right now, we are in the OBS Studio, which is blank at the moment. To present a PPT or a whiteboard to your students during the live classes, you need to tell OBS to add these items as a source in the OBS Studio. To do that, first click on the plus sign on the sources and select the window capture option. Window capture will capture any active window that you have opened. This window could be a PPT slide on your desktop or it could be a web browser page. So let me go ahead and select a PPT slide window that I have created. As you can see, the window is now captured. Let me align it properly. To do that, let me right click the window and select transform. Now let me click on the fit to screen option. So now this PPT will become the background. As I present this PPT to my students, I also would like my face to appear somewhere on the top right or bottom corner of this PPT. To do that, I go to the source and click on the plus sign and select the video capture device. This will select my laptop webcam. Let me click on the OK button to display my webcam on the PPT background. Let me just adjust it a bit and make it small and move it to the top right corner. You can place your webcam either on the top right corner or top left corner so that it won't disturb your presentation. Now let's say you want to add your academy's logo to appear as a watermark during your live classes. Do that, again go to your sources, click on the plus sign and select the image option. Now click on the browse button and select the image from your computer. Let us just drag and adjust the size of this logo. Let me place it on the top right on the middle. Next and most importantly, you want your students to hear you talk, right? To do that, let me again go to the sources, click on the plus sign and select the audio input capture and this selects my microphone. So by adding all the sources you need for your live classes, you have created a scene that your students will view. You can create multiple such scenes for your students and switch between scenes very easily. To do that, I click on the plus sign on the scene and create another scene. Just like scene 1, I will need a whiteboard source. For that, I will go to the source and click on the plus sign and select the window capture option. And for the window capture, I will select an online whiteboard option. There are quite a few free online whiteboards available. Google has a whiteboard called Jamboard. You can use that. I will share the link to the free whiteboards in the description box below. For this video, I have used a free whiteboard by a company called Zideboard. The best thing that I liked about it was that the interface is really smooth and you can write or draw with very good control just by using a mouse. To use their free whiteboard, go to sideboard.com and simply sign into their website with your email ID. Check out their paid plans if you want your customized whiteboard. So right now, let me use the window capture to capture my whiteboard. Next, while solving this problem on my whiteboard, I also want to display the formulas. To display that, let me go ahead and click on the plus sign from the source and click on image. Here, I have added the image of the formulas. To hide this formula from my students, I can simply click on the eye symbol. So now, we have planned what scenes we need to show to students. Before starting your live session, here is an important thing to know. A stable internet upload speed of at least 2 Mbps is required if you want to stream live. The last thing you want is for your students to see a blurry low quality live class. So depending on your internet speed, 
you need to adjust your OBS settings. So as a first step, let's go to fast.com and check your internet upload speed. Here you can see my internet upload speed is 44 Mbps which is very good. The ideal upload speed for a good live class is around 5 to 7 Mbps. If your internet upload speed is lower than 3 Mbps, you need to adjust your OBS settings. Let me show you how to do that. First, click on settings in OBS and go to the output. Choose the output mode to advanced. Next, click on the streaming tab and select the encoder. Depending on which OS you are using, your encoder will vary. If you have a hardware encoder, choose that. Else, choose the default encoder which in this case is X264. Now, click the checkbox rescale output and select the 960 by 540 resolution and then limit the bitrate to a max of 1500 kbps. This setting will be enough to stream your classes with low internet speed. If your upload speed is more than 5 mbps then do select the 1280 into 720 resolution instead. Now click on apply. Next click on the video tab and set the base resolution to 1280 into 720. Next, you can choose the output resolution to 852 by 480. Now, set the down filter to by cubic. Next, change the FPS value to 30 if you want to stream your live classes with a webcam. Once you have selected these settings, click on apply and now click OK. So with this, we now have the basic setup ready to create an engaging and interactive live class for your students. To get to know your student side during your live class, click on the studio mode. This will split the screen to preview and program. The program screen on the right side is what your students will see when you present your PPT during your live class. By default, students will be in scene number 1. To change to scene 2, Simply select the scene 2 and click on the transition to change the student view to scene 2. When you are ready to start your live classes, go to settings, click on stream, select the service as custom and paste the server and stream key from the Learnest dashboard. If you want to know how to start your live classes on Learnest and get live class attendance reports Check our previous video on how to take live class online on the info card pop up link right above. Hope this session was useful to you to set up your OBS to record your PPT or whiteboard easily. I hope this video was super useful to you. In the comment section below, do let me know which tool you use to take your live classes online. And lastly, if you like this video, don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get more such video notifications on course creation tips. So until next time, see you, take care and have a wonderful day.